Hey guys, this video is sponsored by DeWalt. DeWalt sent me over this rotary self-leveling laser to use on my concrete pours. And today I'm going to show you just how I set it up and how we use it to make sure our grades are right where they need to be at when we pour a concrete floor. Pouring concrete floors, the grades are really critical because the floor has to be either perfectly flat or it has to have a nice slope to a drain or maybe a nice slope outside the doors. So we'll put it on the DeWalt tripod. This one comes with a neat little ha handy carrying case like this. It's really lightweight and it's built really rugged. What I really like is that handle on it too. And then it's basically just set it on the tripod, screw it in, and it's ready to go. All right, so to turn this thing on, it's really simple. So you just set it on the stand. The stand doesn't have to be perfectly level. And then you push the button right here, it's the on button. And then it self levels itself. And when it gets level, then the rotary laser will start spinning, and it won't spin if it's not level. Sometimes it takes just a minute, and you can screw that right in. There you go, see it? You can screw that right in to help secure it. Even if that tripod is tipped one way or the other, just a little bit, that's going to level itself. So once the laser's level, I grab the receiver, I mount it on my grade stick, and I establish the level of the concrete floor. And today we're going to match the top of the concrete wall all the way around. So I go around and I check my, my concrete wall to make sure that's good if we're matching it. And then I also want to check the floor drain to make sure the floor drain set low and not high. It should be about a couple inches low. All right, looks like we're about ready to go. 36 feet by 30 feet. Matching top of the concrete wall all the way around. I'm going to slope it to the, the center drain. I'll use the receiver, the DeWalt receiver, to pick up the laser level beam. I've already got it set to match the top of the wall right there. And that's what we'll use to check our grades up against that wall right there. You turn this on, you just hit that. When it reads that beam, see, it's going to tell you to go down or up. And then when it's right on the beam, it beats a solid beam like that. We're using that 3500 PSI. We've got fiber mesh in this today. We've got our high range water reducer in it today. Keep some of the concrete out of there. I really like these DeWalt gloves. I've worn these gloves on about 20 different jobs already and feel like brand new. Big rocks today. Forgot, forgot to ask for the 50 50. When was the last time we poured concrete? Can't even remember. Well, I might want to go put my boots on, huh? Ah, uh, we were doing here. <laughs> Jim and Holly. Oh, yeah? And, uh, it's been so long since we poured concrete, I forgot to put my boots on. <laughs> to go get my booties. Ready to go. Got our DeWalt mags we're using today too. Thank you, DeWalt, for that. Really liking the mags. We're using high range water reducer today, so we can pour about an eight pump. If you're wondering why it's so loose, that's why. It's like a pretty good mix. Not separating at least. I'll be able to push a little backwards too, huh? Well, because the garage was 36 feet deep, we ended up using our chute extension of a 12 feet, which means we still had to pull, you know, five or six feet. But because we use the water reducer, whether the high range or the mid range, it makes the pulling a lot easier, as you can see how good this concrete flows for us. What do we want to do? Pull him ahead or just blast it where he is? Still uh, quite a ways to go. Pull your head a little bit. Alright, so using using the self-leveling laser. 
the receiver reads the laser beam and tells me if I'm on grade, if I'm a little high, or I'm a little bit low. Down a little bit there, so a little bit high there. A little bit out of there. Mag myself pad, check the pad. Good right there, perfect. That's good. Alright, so what we like is when the first truck goes a little bit more than halfway, that gives me hope we're not going to run out. And that's what we're looking like right now. Looks looking pretty good. You want to strike it and see how high we are yeah. and, th and then just empty them right out. Go ahead and back him up, Luke, though. Or are you gonna, can you back him up just a little bit? Yeah. Not too high, a little bit, huh? Good, move it that way. Yeah. Well, let him in and I'll yeah. get back, back in somewhere else. Thank you. Good job. See you next time. See ya. All right, looking like we're gonna have plenty of concrete. We've got plenty, plenty. I'm ready now. Ah, I'll straight edge, I'll start. If I fall over, you gonna pick me up. You got oh, enough pad there and you want a little more? You got enough pad yet? <clears throat> so when I screwed like this, I'm looking to score on the end. That end wants to leave just a little bit of a line like that right there. Once I score, I just keep moving. I'm pushing down pretty hard to move the excess concrete backwards as I'm doing it. Hold on. Go get her. Slow and sure. That off slopes this way right to the drain. A couple inches. Even with that slump, it holds the slope really good. Ooh, nice. To tell you one thing I like about that receiver is that loud beat. When you get on a construction job, it's really noisy. Some of the other ones I've used, you can barely hear the beep on it.
gonna be good right there, I can feel it. Oh, shut that down perfect. Concrete shake yet, so you gotta take it easy here this morning. Another good thing about pouring that slump is down and back with a bow flow once, usually, and it's good. Kind of helps speed that up. That's why using water reducer, man, it's a key. Cut your Almost cut your work in half sometimes. Remember, we got hot water in the mud. They had to drive almost an hour to get here, and then we put an accelerator in too to help help give it a kick. It's only 50 degrees today. Concrete won't set very good in this cold weather, so you got to give it a kick somehow. You know, if you're both floating the drain, you want to put the edge of the bull float right in the center of the drain because that's kind of where the channel is. This concrete sloping this way, this is going to slope this way, and it's all sloping that way. So you don't want to you don't want to bridge the drain like this. Otherwise, you'd be riding right over the slope, kind of flatten it out. So you always want to put the edge right in where the V is. I like running one down here whenever I can too. So. You can see where I pick up the bull flow that leaves kind of that pucker mark. This just helps smooth that out. Makes the finishing a lot easier. You know, nice that makes that edge look. Now I don't have to go back and mag it at later. Just, just this one area right here. And then where I stop, it leaves a little bit of a, a divot where I stop. I like to make sure I go right over that too. Yeah, I'm trying to fill in all those marks left by the screed. Not only the screed marks, but the aggregate where the screed kind of tears over the surface. I want to get those all filled in like that right there. Nice and smooth. And it's going to make you finish in a heck of a lot easier later on. Really like that Dewalt laser. That's so simple. It's so lightweight. Only takes a few seconds just to get it set up, ready to go. We're going to like that this year. That's the little case it comes with. Fits right inside there. You can keep it nice and clean. Uh, it's about a half low. Perfect. See how I set that down? As soon as I set it, it touches the concrete. I get my even beat. That means I'm perfect. I don't know how we survive without lasers. Hey, I know. Let's blame it on the Batchman. <laughs> Good now. Ready.
just in case the form's not perfectly level, we like to strike it with a straight edge just off the garage door. Make sure there's no hump or dip in the middle of the door. See how that looks. Looks pretty good. See how it's all touching? Nice. It's as easy as it is. Turn it on, self levels, press the button, turn it off. Then all I need to do to unhook it is just unscrew it under here. It comes off the tripod. Fits right down into the case, just like that. All right, take the receiver off this grade stick. Make sure you turn it off. You want to pull back or you want to no, I'll pull forward. the receiver away. That truck broke down, so that's why he's still sitting here. Something's wrong with him. He's waiting for the mechanic to show up. It's always something with concrete, it seems like. Every single day, something. That's going to do it for today. I just want to thank my partners at DeWalt for, you know, sending us that really nice laser level. I want you guys to go check that out. I'll have a link for it down in the description. Again, you want the, you want the tripod. The laser, the laser itself comes as a little kit, so you get the receiver with it. But you'll need the tripod and you'll need a grade stick. You make your own grade stick like I do. Or you just buy one and use that as a grade stick. But other than that, you know, that's a really nice unit right there.